In the previous episode of Traveling to History we have visited the Sludam Causeway which is rather unknown to the public but the little recognition that it gets goes to the British and the Canadian troops that gave everything to secure the Walcheren Peninsula. But what even lesser people know is that during the invasion of the Netherlands in May of 1940 there were several French regiments that held off the German army on Dutch soil for several days and the French soldiers that died trying so are buried right here in this place, the French War Cemetery in Capella. Immediately after the Germans invaded the Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg on the 10th of May 1940, the French government immediately deployed uh, troops towards the Netherlands where they were mainly stationed inside Beveland and on the Walchen Peninsula to slow down the uh, German advance. After General Winkelmann signed the capitulation of the Netherlands, he excluded the province of Zeeland because of the um, high amount of uh, foreign troops that were stationed in that province. So even after the capitulation of the Netherlands, uh, French troops would continue to fight against the German army um, on Dutch soil. And during those battles a significant amount of uh, French troops would die during the withdrawal to the south where they would eventually end up in uh, Dunkirk. And I must be honest, I only came across this cemetery because I was doing research on a other location of the Battle of the Scheldt, but now that I am here I am uh, glad that I came across the information of this uh, cemetery. This is the main monument of this cemetery and it is um, quite beautiful if you ask me. And if you take a look to the left and to the right you can see um, eight panels that show the in total 600 French soldiers that died on Dutch soil during the Second World War. And of those 600 that used to be on this cemetery, there are uh, 229 left today. And that is because all of the others have been reburied after the war on behest of their um, relatives. And one thing that I want to show you guys is uh, this panel, because that shows the names of uh, 19 Algerian and Moroccan uh, soldiers that were part of the uh, French colonial army during the Second World War. Um, and although these men didn't fight on uh, Dutch soil, the reason that they are in this cemetery is because during the withdrawal to Dunkirk and the, eventually during Operation Dynamo, the German Luftwaffe continuously shot and bombed the um, boats that were making the trip back and forth over the channel. And some men uh, drowned during these trips, including these 19 men, and after a while they uh, washed, uh, washed ashore on the Dutch coast. And as a token of respect, and because they were a part of the French colonial army, they were also buried um, in this cemetery. A second ago I told you guys that there are 229 uh, graves on this cemetery and I just learned that out of the 229 there are 104 French soldiers on this cemetery that are never identified after the war. Uh, for example this, this row shows that beautifully because this one says my French is not that good. Uh, Francais non identifié, which means uh, yeah, non, uh, non identified. And this row just goes on and on and on. And this is just one row out of many. And then we come across these two tombstones that look a little different, and that is because these are the graves of the um, Algerian and Moroccan uh, soldiers that were part of the French colonial army. And on the other side of the cemetery are the um, remaining 
of the 19 Algerian and Moroccan uh, soldiers on this cemetery. I hope you find this cemetery as interesting as I do because uh, for some reason I have a strange interest in war cemeteries, whether it's um, British, American, German, Polish or French, it doesn't really matter. So uh, that being said, have a good day and I hope you'll join me on my next travel to history. See you later.